hello guys welcome to a new video and in this video i am going to show you how to allow ping on a juniper vsrx firewall and first we need to configure it their ip addresses so i need to configure ip address 192.168.1.1 slash 24 for this vsrx or for this firewall and 192.168.1.2 um, for the other vsrx for the other juniper firewall <clears throat> So let's go ahead and start. So from this firewall, I am going to first go ahead and configure the interface. So we need to go and set interfaces and I need to um, state which interface I want to configure. After that, you want to do the unit or the logical um, interface that you want to configure then you want to do the family um, which family uh, IP is if it's either IPv4 or IPv6 I'm going to do IPv4 then you want to type address and then we are going to type the IP address that we want to configure slash 24 then we want to commit our changes we have to do it we have to do the same um, for the other VRSX which is this one right here And for this one, let's go ahead and do the same set interfaces GE unit. It's going to be the logical interface zero. Family is going to be IPv4 address 192.168.1.2 slash 24. Let's go ahead and commit your changes. Remember, you have to commit your changes. And for this one, you can see that it's giving me an error that I need to configure a root authentication password. So let's go ahead and do that. So whenever you get this, it's just saying that you do not have a password and you need to configure a password before you can do any, uh, uh, before you can save your configuration. So the way to do that is to do a set system root authentication. Let's just do a plain text password. There you go, and that should let you come in now. There we go, commit complete. So now after that, I want to get out of the config mode. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to ping 192.168.1.1, which is this other firewall, which is this firewall. You can see I am unable to do that. If you go to this other one and you try to ping 192.168.1.1 or that 1.2, which is this, so I'm trying to ping from this to this and from this firewall to the other one. And as you can see, we are unable to do that and that is because we are um, working with a VSRX and not a router. VSRX is a firewall and by default they have uh, security policies um, and security zones in there. So what you need to do is you need to um, allow ping on this interface. So well, let's go ahead and do that. We are going to go into the configuration also, let's go ahead and cancel this one. Let's go ahead and go into configure. So what we need to do is uh, we need to go ahead and set, oops, we need to set the security, security zone, zone into the security zone. And we're just gonna put this interface in the trust. And the interface that we're going to put that in the trust is going to be the G0. 0 slash 0 slash 0, which is the one that is connected to the other VSRX. After we do that, we need to do a host inbound traffic. Then you do a system and then services. Uh, system services. There we go. System services. Then if you do a question mark, you can see all the services that you are able to allow. So if you can either allow all of them, any server. Um, um, boot speed, DHCP, DHCP V6, DNS, whatever you want to do. But what we want to allow is ping. So we are going to add ping and then we want to commit. Then we, want, we have to do the same on the other VSX so we can allow um, ping. So we are able to ping each other, right? So you want to do the set, um, like I said, security, um, set security zones, security zone. We are going to add it to the trust interfaces, GE. 0 slash 0 slash 0 host inbound traffic so host inbound traffic means that the traffic coming into the interface um, system services we want to allow ping 
then you want to commit your changes after you do that let's go ahead and go to the other inter to the other firewall we want to have be able to see if you're able to ping uh, actually it's one uh one and two that one eight that one that two and there we go so now we are able to ping from this firewall to the other firewall and this is due to the fact that we added that interface that is connect directly connected to the other firewall we allowed the host inbound traffic system services ping we did the same over here so if you do exit and you do ping um, ping 192.8.1.1 there we go so now we are able to ping um, we have we are able to send that um, traffic between the two firewalls so that's how you allow ping from a VSRX thank you guys for watching and if you guys uh, enjoy this video what I want you guys to do is to go to Twitter if you have a Twitter account um, if you have a Twitter account, go ahead and follow me on Twitter at CCNA Daily Tips. If you have a Twitter account, if you do not have a Twitter account, go ahead and create a Twitter account and then follow me on Twitter. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you on the next one, guys. Bye-bye.